So this this is the setup you want to use, like every time you texture. I always use this template. So just have all of these layers and then you just then you know what's missing when you make your next texture. Put this on uh overlay or I think multiply is better. Yeah, multiply. So now you can see the lines here. Uh barely, but yeah. So this is very good. So what people usually do is like they take a part here and they just put it where they want it to be. This is really bad because this creates a hole in your texture, which is bad. So you want to work with masks. So a good thing when you have your UV here, um, you can press Alt on this little eye and then you see your UV only. Then press this little magic tool. You press here, like these parts that's not your UV. And then you press uh, this button, this is a mask button. So now we can press Control or Alt on this eye again. Now we have these masks. So these max masks are black. I pressed Alt and pressed it. So where it's white, it shows the texture, and where it's black, it doesn't. So now we just press Control I to reverse. Just press this. Uh, so now it only shows this. But this is very good because now we can put this on our layers down here, like this and just bam bam so now we um we just like locked this area out so we know where the texture is so that's really good like you should always use mass so now we have these areas but we haven't destroyed the the actual textures the actual textures are are there so if you wanna like you press this little mask here and you can paint with white and then you the information like the texture comes there. So it's really handy. So uh now we can put our ambient occlusion in there. So if you just take your ambient occlusion, I have mine here. Uh cop or yeah, just put it there and uh, take your cavity, put it there just these, we render these in 2048 so you don't have to like <laughs> mixture with them or anything so um, actually on this one I think we're gonna need to drag this on top of there hold down shift and drop it no because these has to be like that I think this is pretty much correct yeah so sometimes like the layers can uh, mess up so just this cavity put it in there just delete that so this is on multiply or overlay it's a multiply and then you just drag the opacity down on it so we have a bit of shade there we could also put this mask on there so now we can take off the UV so now we have these lines here and they help us like in the texture so now we just add the ambient occlusion a see if this works add the mask and I think we're gonna have to move this no oh no actually it was in place you just me uh, but what is going on? Yeah. Oh yeah. These weren't in the place. I think, or I don't know what's going on.
What are you doing? Ambient yeah, occlusion. The hell. <laughs> um. Okay, I think that is correct. So, there. I just put this layer on multiply. I think or overlay. No, it's multiply. So now we got shadow in there. You see here, it's shadow mixed like where these are the metal things that we're gonna have, and here, blah blah blah. So that uh, that's good. This is good. So now we have some information on there. And that's good. That's what we want. So what we do now is we can now we can check here. Uh, so gradient, we could go back into Blender and check like here, which is the bottom of this here. So the left side is the bottom. So this is the bottom here. So we can put the gradient. Press God. What the. F Okay, uh, <laughs> press G and then gradient tool. Press the gradient here and then just press shift to make it straight. And then like that. So now we got a gradient here. Now we could add this here, but we need to press alt on this layer and we need to paint this black since we don't want any gradient on, on that. So just take this, take the hardness to and just paint all of this. Take the brush up. Just so so this white represents where where the gradient is gonna hit. So now we have gradient on this and you might wanna turn it down a bit. Like that. So yeah. So now we got a bit like darker at the bottom and uh, brighter at the top okay so blobs these are very good so this um, this layer is on uh, overlay and it's very thin you, you can barely see it but yeah so I press X to shift between black and white and we just paint like on top god uh, actually we can hide the the thing take it the hardness down to zero so here you see I'm painting like the empty space god uh, <laughs> like this um, yeah doing it here like so and here, make it a bit bigger. Just getting some on the open spaces, like here. And just put the layer on there too, with the mask. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so there we go. We could actually zoom in a little bit. Oh God. Uh, and do it on these, since this is gonna be metal up here. So you wanna. You wanna make them shine. The specular map will make them shine anyway, but nothing wrong by adding a bit bit of extra to it. Okay, and then we can choose the black color and just take a bit Oh my god. That was that is intense black. Uh, probably 
you should take a little brush and just do it like here just do this you press shift if you wanna draw straight lines sometimes it's helpful but as in this case it's a bit like around here so doesn't quite work now you can do this on uh, the additional shadow layer too but I usually do it on both because uh, then I have more control okay so now <laughs> this is not very good now I said <laughs> obviously because um, it's all like <laughs> oh I have to go down this is very very strong <laughs> so we're gonna take the opacity down on this uh, obviously so let's take the opacity down like here so see the difference you just added a lot of detail there it's really good so now you can you can almost see where like where the edge goes and stuff with the with the cavity and the ambient occlusion so now we can uh, you can go to CG textures again and you can find a metal texture uh, I need to do that too so so I found this texture uh, I actually I've used this before so let's open this up uh, I can close these and this one don't save it okay so now we have this so same as usual take a corner enter boom and then you just control A or shift the image size 248 control A control C put it in there uh, that's what she said uh, <laughs> no just yeah, place it in there and now since you don't want the the blue color because this is you know a barrel so just control U take the saturation down to zero now you still got your old texture but with scratches so obviously this is very strong so you wanna take it down to a minimal size like this so now we added scratches really simple so you could actually I'm gonna create a new one mat 5 and I'm gonna go ahead and take another metal texture which we are gonna use for these so I'll be back so I just went into the men metal bear section and I found this texture which um, I'm gonna crop so make a square like this press the crop tool enter enter oh shit uh, enter <laughs> and now we could take part like this V alt V take this put it there uh, take this healing brush tool and just paint it like this remove that edge like so so now it looks looks awesome so now we just take the image image size 248 And I'm just gonna save this. Uh, control A, Control C, put it on there. So you make this overlay. So now we we place this on top here, but we only want it on these. So what do you do then? Well, you could go into your um, texture here, and you see these are the uh, parts that are the metal 
so you just take this little magical wand and you press uh, tolerance like a hundred you press there uh, God no um, So <laughs> halfway through this, I realized you could just press these big, big ones, and you would get this. Uh, so now, just press Control I, and we get this. Um, we could just take the uh, brush tool, press B, and just paint in these. Uh, paint like don't have to be that exact cuz you want you will barely barely notice it so what we will need to do now is um paint this black since we only want those metal bulk thingies here to be there so just paint this black I guess uh, yeah this is mostly for like easier to to uh, know what you're doing, so doesn't need to be like exact. Holy moly! Uh, yeah. So we just press here, and you can like see what you're what you're actually doing. <laughs> Or actually, you could just press on this UV and just press here, and then and then you go here to this layer and you press X. So this black color is behind. You press delete. So now everything around here got deleted. So now you can still see a bit. Um, pressing M then just taking that away so that is pretty good so now there is only metal on there and this metal you can have it like right now it's on overlay but I think it will fit good if it's on normal so here's the normal and uh, yeah you can make it darker if you want uh, if you want like the texture to be darker you can press here control uh, U and then you just make it a bit darker to fit the uh, the scene or the the theme of the your of your texture. So now we got that. Uh still very non destructive. You can still use all of these textures. Um we can go over 
to additional shadow, but I don't feel like it needs to, to do anything, but it's supposed to be an overlay. It's the same as blobs, but blobs are a bit more subtle, uh, since we had white too, but these are like purely black and you just add them around the edges, but I don't feel like we need to add them right now. And here is detail. So if you want, like, you can get these alphas from CG textures. I don't know if I have any, like here. Or that's not an alpha, but you can use it. But hold on, let me get an alpha. Okay, so I got an alpha from CG textures. Uh, and it's like this. So this you could just put in normally. Just make sure it's a bit smaller than your image, otherwise it's gonna <laughs> be really big. Okay, so you could just put this like I you should probably make a, a copy of this and then just hide this one. So n now you have this, but you still have the original if you if you wanna scale this down. So this is destructive. <laughs> so that's why you want to make a copy so you just put this like you always hold shift otherwise when you scale it so <laughs> like this is not good <laughs> if you make it like that so always hold shift uh, so I want to put put it here so we can put it on overlay or no multiply so now we got a little like a little decal there. So that's a pretty cool aesthetic. We can take this or press enter, take this decal, again, put it over there, make it more like change the texture. We can spin this around a bit. Like so. So now we have this. Uh yeah. So that's pretty cool. So now you can see some like some decals here and there. And now we get to this. I don't know if you, if you want to use this, but this is like for the entire texture now. So if you want to make it black and white, sure, make it black and white. So this like saves the ins information instead of uh, ruining it. <laughs> so uh, I can't speak. Uh, like here you can't get this back when you make it black and white because I don't know you can't so this you can change it however you want you can make it really saturated like this and you can make it really desaturated so I'm just gonna like if you want it in a, in a nicer scene you can make it like this like but if you want it like to be cold you can make it like this but I'm just gonna keep it this at zero and you can change the, the darkness of the whole picture the lightness so levels is pretty good you can also like it's more contrast you, you see what it does is like adds like <laughs> stuff but yeah I'm just gonna keep it 